Oh, he a knockout artist. He getting kicked out of boxing gyms. I already know what time it is. Man, everybody, Andrew, we got, everybody, we got everybody out here. Yeah, yo, you trying to, you trying to be deceiving? Huh? I like boxing. I like boxing. Knockout come, get it. I like boxing. Yes. Oh, man. Man. yes. <laughs> Alright, Dante's Boxing Nation. I'm over here with the man, Richard Steele, at the Richard Steele's Gym out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. You doing great? Now, I gotta ask you, we just came off, the, off of the biggest weekend of our era, at least mine's, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. A lot of people believe Mayweather, he dominated the fight. He made it look a little bit easier than some people thought. What, what was your thoughts on the fight? Well, Mayweather, you know, he definitely dominated the fight. He won almost every round. You know, I might have gave Pacquiao three rounds at the most, and I mean, just gave him, you know, three rounds. You know, uh, he was not in the fight at no time. He seemed like an old washed up fighter to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's how much uh, Mayweather superiority was over him. You know, I mean, he just, he just controlled the whole fight. So the people was looking for Pacquiao to give him a good fight, but Pacquiao didn't ever come to fight. Yeah, yeah. Pacquiao never got in the position to fight. Yeah. And Pacquiao never landed no hard punches or anything. So Pacquiao was not in the fight, you know, so it just proved the uh, point that uh, uh, Floyd was definitely a superior boxer. Mm -hmm. So then you probably don't understand why some fans, it's a small percentage of fans, trying to blame Floyd Mayweather's dominance on why Manny Pacquiao didn't do better. I mean, are, do you, is that kind of well? <laughs> he didn't do better because he's washed up. You think he's washed up? Yeah. Yeah. I think that knocked out, that knocked, his last knockout had a lot to do with it. Uh-huh. Uh, he wasn't there. He never showed up for the fight. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, that's what people thought, you know, that it was going to be another Hagler and Hearn. Yeah. But in yeah. order for it to be another Hagler and Hearn, uh, Pacquiao had to come and fight. Yeah. Pac Pacquiao never fought. Yeah. And, and that's funny you say that he never fought. But he's saying that Floyd Mayweather was just running when half the time Mayweather had his back against the ropes, and that was Manny Pacquiao's opportunity, wouldn't you say? Correct. And plus, you know, Mayweather, he fights the same fight all the time. So, hey, you know, it was up to Pacquiao to make the fight, and he never made it. There you go. You heard it from Richard Steele. Now, you done seen all the great fights, Richard. Where would you rate Floyd Mayweather after that performance? I mean, Pacquiao was considered... Eight, eight division champion, Some they even voted him fighter of the decade, and Floyd beat him, made it look easy. Where would you rate him after that? Well, way above, uh, <laughs> way above him, <laughs> you know. But he's got to be in the top three. He's in the top three. Okay. You know, when, when he stopped to realize, you know, uh, uh, what he has accomplished, mm -hmm. you know, with Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson and, and you know, a couple of the guys. He's in, you know, Florida's in the top three, you know. Okay, that's that's high praise from Richard Steele right there. Okay, is there any other fighters that um you see that could probably take the torch from um, Floyd when he leaves? I mean, you no. got like Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Gennady Golovkin. What do you think? No, I, I would never really saw anyone that was ready for that torch as yet. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to see some of uh, this kid named uh, um, Crawford. Yeah. I'm kind of really impressed with him. But other than that, I haven't really seen anybody that that I really would uh, hang greatness on. Yeah, kind of too early right now, huh? Yes, yeah, a little too early. Okay. Hey, man, well, thanks for your time, man. You but got anything you. else? I'm here at the Rich Steel Foundation and Boxing Club, 2475 West Cheyenne. This is where we train kids to be a great fighter, to be another Floyd Mayweather. We have kids from 8 to 18, you know, and we have a website, richardsteelfoundation.org. richardsteelfoundation.org. Go to the website try to help out some of these kids to be able to uh, stay in the gym, stay out the street, and try to get an education. That's what we're all about.